Hi guys, it is April 19, 2019. I am having a coughing fit tonight and I can't seem to stop. But I want to get this up. And I just made a video, but I'm going to be posting it after I post this one. This one is short. Global Targeted Individual Spring Rally Planned for late April. April 26 and the 27th in Sacramento, California, there will be the first global follow-up rally to the Global Targeted Individual Day Rally that took place last year, October, um, August 29th. And I want to say that if any of you out in California, if you can attend this rally, I really hope that you do whether you're a targeted individual or not, you know, uh, the more, the more people that show up, the more likely it will get attention from those who need to pay attention to what is happening to so many individuals, Americans and people throughout the world, thousands upon thousands, are having their lives destroyed purposefully, deliberately, intentionally. The gang stalking, the electronic harassment. You know, we all live this collective nightmare. I post videos, you guys leave comments, um, and many of us are isolated in our real life. So that gives us support. I'll post a video and I'll see that people um, appreciate it because you don't feel alone. Not too many people are posting on this topic. And I think perhaps that's because, well, that's too out there. It's too fringe. People will think that, you know, I'm crazy if I post on it. You know what? I don't care. This is happening. It's real. And targeted individuals really need our support. We live a collective nightmare, and that's hard enough. Can you imagine on top of that, living a nightmare that came to you directly, personally? Your life <clears throat> descends into this Kafkaesque hell And nobody believes you? Can you imagine being followed, the gang stalking, having people come into your home and, oh, just move things about, having your mail intercepted, um, and worse, having your pet killed, or the noise campaigns neighbors, sometimes friends, family, engage in the targeting of you. Neighbors that were once nice and courteous, suddenly they're hostile, rude. Friends turn on you. You try to put a stop to this and you go seek the police. You're being followed. You're being stalked. They don't believe you. They suggest that you go see a psychiatrist. So do your friends and so do your family members. Go see a psychiatrist. You're crazy. But you're not crazy. This is happening to you. It is turning your life into an utter nightmare for which you need support and you can't find any. You, your life, you grow more and more isolated. And then they begin calling your employer. Oh, and you get fired. And you can't get hired anywhere. And suddenly you're experiencing financial ruin. This is happening to people. And we do need to have more channels talking about it and talking about it just like we talk about vaccines. 
and the geoengineering. And for those of you who have not had your life destroyed, you have no clue what that actually means. What it actually means. And so I hope that you, if you've not seen it, watch The Spark. I posted a video on this. This was the first time that I came across Thomas McFarlane's writing. And I was really, uh, his writing is, is just beautiful. And so is this film of Stephen Schellen's The Spark. Stephen Schellen, who you might recognize, an actor who has been in um, numerous films, um, roles in dozens of major Hollywood productions between 1982 and 1995. He's most especially known for his performances in the feature films. A River Runs Through It, The Stepfather, American Gothic, The Bodyguard, The Damned River, um, TV series, Counter-Strike, La Femme, Nakita. Okay. Successful? Then targeted. You watch The Spark and well, I really identified with it. I, I related to a lot of what Stephen has lived as a targeted individual. Not the gang stalking, but that incredible Kafka-esque, like, what the hell is happening? Well, the spark, Stephen really captures it, and of course, he has lived it. Um, and I'm not going to tell you much, because you'll get to know what happened to his life as a targeted individual. And I'm really glad that Stephen Schellen uh, created this film because you really get to see what people are living. It is a nightmare. And you are alone in it because people don't believe you. And so your life descends into this kafka as hell. You're in a lot of, you know, physical pain um, from the electronic harassment. And you may, you know, feel physically like crap all the time, but then you have the psychological, the psychological warfare, and you are targeted specifically, to endure this every single day. Um, where do you go? Where do you go for some solace? What do, you, what do you... You're left with your life in ruins, watching everybody else have their life. They're still fine. And all of the fine people do not believe you. They just think that you have gone mad or crazy. And they walk away from you. That fills you with so much shame. And, uh, well, the experience is quite full and rich with an awful lot of feelings that... Well, you're in a new life, and you are experiencing a hell. You know, you might have had those feelings, you know, for uh, particular times in your life. But suddenly, you're having to deal with it on a 24-7 no, it's, a, it's an experience that you can't quite grasp or understand unless you live it. But what we need is 
not judgment, not people just thinking that we're crazy. We need people, even if they can't understand, to believe, to listen, to listen without judgment. And we sure as hell need people to be speaking out, speaking up, supporting those who are targeted. Now, I kept saying we. Yeah, my life was destroyed. And I've had so many strange experiences watching this film. It was rather gut-wrenching for me because I did relate. I've had very bizarre experiences with friends, but I've never had the gang stalking. I am the scapegoat of a severely malignant narcissistic family. I know what it feels like to have people work to destroy your life. Everything you try to do, they'll undercut you, they'll gaslight you, they'll lie about you. And I know what it feels like to have people not believe you. So, would it matter to me if I didn't know? Because I've done enough research to know that this is happening and these people are not crazy at all. The spark really, well, illuminates these insidious and covert surveillance crimes of unimaginable horror. And that's exactly, that's not dramatic. It is unimaginable horror that you're living with a leading actor who is held in absolute position by his character and simultaneously poured every last drop of blood, sweat, and tears at his command into financing and directing this seminal 21, uh, 20, first century film, sorry. Yeah, you know, we are all targeted and I don't know what the hell is going on with my brain. But when I see this and I feel the way I'm feeling right now, well, I'll be doing a video about this. So, um, please, I will link below to the spark. And yes, you know, I think the amount might be $5 or something. Understand that targeted individuals are financially ruined. Ruined. And for most, the ruin, it, it's almost impossible to get yourself back up. You know, to lift yourself up to get out of it because everybody thinks you're crazy and you have no more support and the isolation, you know, the longer you stay in that kind of isolation, the more it does a number on you. You're no longer yourself. You begin to doubt yourself. You begin to think that you are crazy. There's so much that goes on. Well, guess what? It would be far easier if we all supported all supported these victims. They are victims of very psychopathic, sick, twisted individuals who engage in these kinds of operations. So I will link below to, um, well, I want to just mention this, but here, Targeted Individual Springtime Rally. I will link below to this site, Saturday, April 27, 2019, Sacramento, California, Friday and Saturday. 
April 26, 27. Please show up. Please. You guys who are within that vicinity. And yeah, they want to educate the public. And another um, purpose of this is to um, the keynote points that will be emphasized at the Sacramento rally location will be Dr. Tomo Shibata. Apparently he has a bill proposal called the Organized Torture Act that seeks to explicitly outlaw organized stalking crimes and the electromagnetic weapons that are often used as part of an overwhelming assault on victims of these crimes. You have a little rally and it doesn't attract much attention. You have a lot of people out there, it attracts attention. That's why it's important to just show up. And the more people who show up, yes, the targeted individuals themselves feel really good about that because they're getting, oh my God, people are actually believing us. Um, so I will link below to this article of Thomas McFarland's. And I also want to point out um, other articles, Californians report organized stalking in droves to local TV news outlets and beyond. These are all Thomas McFarland's, a leading edge California bill proposal that fully outlaws organized stalking is currently under review by lawmakers. And again, um, if you want to know about Dr. Tomo Shibata's proposal, please click on the link below and you will learn more about how they are trying to introduce this legislation, get it passed. It would set uh, precedent for sure. It would be um, it would finally, I believe, put these targeting programs on radar. Vaccines, geoengineering, GMOs, all on radar. We need to get this targeting on radar as well. And that means that you've got to circulate this information. You show up if you live around that area. Can you imagine having your life destroyed and nobody cares? <laughs> well, that then really changes everything. And just getting through your life becomes a real feat. So, uh, check this out, please. Here's another one in the post 9-11 era. Understanding the targeted individual phenomenon is no longer optional. No, it's not. You could become targeted. Um, the tail end before I get into the stalking victimization in the United States, I want to bring you to the tail end of this article. And Thomas McFarlane, he's not getting paid for this. You know, unpaid public service work. And I'm subject to organized stalking crimes that have left my finances in ruins. If you would like to support my journalism work with a donation, this would be very much appreciated. I'm going to link below to Thomas McFarland's PayPal. He's a, he's a, 
his writing is really um, you don't see very many good writers anymore so it always um, when I see it I know it you read the spark his review you can uh, well if you're anything like me you can actually feel his words and when you can feel a writer's words that's when you know they got the gift so please considering the importance of what Thomas McFarlane is writing about trying to reach people please we need to support one another we need to support one another. People's lives are being destroyed. They are financially ruined. A lot of forces are keeping them in that financial ruin. So, if you have a few dollars and you could help Thomas McFarlane out, that would be great. Now, U.S. Department of Justice, January 13, 2009, Stalking Victimization in the United States. Department of Justice recognizes the stalking victimization in the United States during a 12-month period, an estimated 14 in every 1,000 persons. Wow. That's a lot of people. Persons age 18 or older were victims of stalking. About half, 46% of stalking victims experienced at least one unwanted contact per week. And 11% of victims said they had been stalked for five years or more. The risk of stalking victimization was highest for individuals who were divorced or separated. 34 in 1,000. Women were at greater risk, um, and women and men equally. Women were at greater risk than men for stalking victimization. However, women and men were equally likely to experience harassment. Male, 37%, and females, 41%, stalking victimizations were equally likely to be reported to the police. Approximately one in four stalking victims reported some form of cyber stalking, <clears throat> excuse me, such as emails or instant messaging. 46% of stalking victims felt fear of not knowing what would happen next. Nearly three in four stalking victims knew their offender in some capacity. Uh, the stalking behaviors, making unwanted phone calls, sending unsolicited or unwanted letters or emails, following or spying on the victim, showing up at places without a legitimate reason, waiting at places for the victim, leaving unwanted items, presents, flowers, posting information or spreading rumors about the victim on the internet, in a public place, by word of mouth, to employers. This is 16 pages and it gives you an awful lot of information regarding stalking and harassment behaviors. And the statistics regarding it. Now this was in 2009. I, the, the video that I'm going to be posting um, and after I post this, we'll be on this report of Julian McKinney, Microwave Harassment and Mind Control Experimentation. Julian McKinney, former military, Army, I believe. 1992. 1992. And this is a very 
thorough, detailed investigation. The report is also it just, well, you read this, you don't have to read it because that is what I did in the video that I will post following this one. You want to know the details of these people's lives that have been so thoroughly infiltrated by psychopaths, sick, twisted people who no doubt get off. I, I, I Look, I cannot imagine, I cannot imagine behaving in this manner toward anybody. And I do know, you know, that some people are approached by the FBI or law enforcement. Uh, we have reason to believe that your neighbor is, uh, could be a, an extremist. And we're wondering, wondering if you will do the spying for us or do some of the spying for us. And people are just so like, oh, wow, I'll get to play an FBI agent and I'll get to play. Oh. Yeah, there's creepy people. And unfortunately, there's too many of them. But you want to read the... the details of the covert and overt harassment that is documented in this article, then click on the link below or watch the video. And I only got a little bit and I'm going to be posting more because we need to start, we need to start making that term targeted individual as common as vaccines, geoengineering, uh, cell phone, cell towers, smart meters, 5G. People's lives are being destroyed. That, um, as far as I'm concerned, is enough for me to get involved, we need everybody involved. We need people to care. So please, circulate. Circulate this article of Thomas McFarlane's on this rally, April 26, 27, Sacramento. It's also going to be on the same day in places across the United States and the world. And I want to see if on that site um, there will will there be um, Thomas McFarlane wondering if there is where is it here it is do they list other locations. I will, I will check that out and I'll post another video if there are other locations. Okay. All links are below.